Hello everyone, this is Piper2381 and for this video I wanted to show you a comic book from my comic book collection which is Batman Year One Part One and this is a very popular comic with a really great story that was written by Frank Miller and illustrated by David Machuselli. So let's start off by looking at this cover up close. At the very top you have the DC logo and just below that it tells you that this is issue 404 and it retailed for 75 cents and it released back in 1987, February 87. Then right beside it, you have this Batman font, which is in hot pink and purple, which is kind of funny, considering the image just below that, which is really graphic, of little Bruce Wayne seeing his parents killed in front of him in Crime Alley. So it's kind of weird that you do have the bright color and then the image, but for some reason, it does work really nice. The, it's very aesthetically pleasing, the color contrast. Then at the bottom, you have this little box that says the history of the DC Universe is must reading. And I do believe there is a variant of this cover with a uh, price barcode right there. Now I actually bought this comic off of eBay a few years ago. And I believe I bought, I bought it for like $5 shipped. So it was really good. But my only complaint with this particular issue is that it's stapled incorrectly. So this cover is actually a little bit longer and it does extend over the pages. But I'm not really like a hardcore comic book collector. So um, I just wanted it in my collection. So I am happy with it overall. So let's look through the pages now. Um, so you have an ad for a different comic uh, sorry, uh, Cosmic Boy, Warlord. I don't even know what these are. So, it's kind of weird. Um, so, here's the first page. And I guess the story is about, uh, I, just, I, I guess, Jim Gordon returning to Gotham City. And, of course, he's middle class, or <laughs> I don't even know, maybe lower class. And he has to come back through um, public transportation compared to Bruce Wayne who flies first class and has really luxurious, you know, um, luggage right there. And of course, cameras are, are filming him as he returns to Gotham after after a few years, compared to uh, <laughs> um, Jim Gordon over here that has to, you know, have to carry his own bags and stuff. That's kind of funny. Now, I did read this comic a few years ago through PDF and I read it on my, um, I believe my iPad and you know it was it was a really good story that actually made me want to buy this comic and actually actually own it in my collection um, but there's one thing I do have to say that although the PDF format is really cool uh, one thing I really do love is actually owning the real material because there's a smell that that these comics give out that's really nice it's kind of like new toys you know and you also get like these old ads right there, which a lot of the times you don't get them in, in like the PDF format. So I kind of like owning these actual relics and having them in my collection, it's really cool. So I highly recommend anybody to get these comics. Um, if, you know, if they're still pretty decent of a price, I recommend getting them. So over here on this ad, you can see Captain Crunch right there. And of course, Captain Crunch was the best, especially with Crunch Berries. I think that's what they were called. Uh, they don't really make those anymore. I haven't seen them in years, at least. And then over here, you have an image of Wonder Woman, which is kind of funny, uh, considering that she's really popular again. So yeah, so it is. This is the story of you know Bruce Wayne returning to Gotham City, as well as James Gordon. And you have Bruce Wayne right there. So it's it actually uh, let's see it actually starts off the comic or the story actually starts off on Jan January fourth and it just goes throughout the whole year and I believe this is a four part issue uh, and uh, so this is like the first few months of the year so it's really cool I mean honestly there's nothing like owning the real material and it's kind of funny because you even get the black ink on your hands. See, look at that. It's really cool. And unfortunately, uh, these these uh, magazines and comics are, are going to be extinct pretty soon. So that kind of sucks. And then you have an image of Selena right there. 
a very 80s version of Selena actually. So it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny as well because I, I used to hate comics like the way they were drawn back in the 80s. Um, especially like the X-Men, but for some reason I really love um, these vintage comics now. They just remind, remind me of childhood. So over here you do have little um, ads and at the very bottom of course you get Bill Cosby. He says, if you can't send you, send money. And of course we all know how his story ended. <laughs> and it was funny as a kid you used to get used to read these little ads and I believe uh, the Simpsons even did a parody of it where um, you can get x-ray glasses. And as a kid I used to believe these ads. It's so funny. So they do exist by the way in case you know you're younger. Um, let's see. So it's a really great story. I highly recommend it. Really great pages. Oh, over here you have an ad for Batman, The Dark Knight Returns. Of course, written by Frank Miller. Um, I highly recommend that issue. And then you over, over here you do have notes from the editor, which is always cool. I like seeing that. You have an image of Bruce Wayne right there. And one thing I always like reading is uh, the letters to the editor. It's always cool to read these. And you know what? That was actually the last page right there. Spoiler alert. Sorry if you haven't read this, but you know. And that's it. So, like I said, my hands are filthy now. Look at that. <laughs> but it's so cool. It's so unique to these old comics. And that's it. Alright, so uh, that's it for this video. If you want to see pictures, um, just follow the links to my blog and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.